Good evening. Uh, my guest for tonight, uh, it's an absolutely lovely lady, one of the most genuine, lovable and generous person that I ever met. She is a very appreciated therapist uh, working in the mental health field. Uh, she is funny, she is bubbly, and last but not least, she is my neighbor. Uh, and to be honest, I cannot imagine, imagine my neighborhood without her. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you tonight Elizabeth Fanto. Good afternoon, Lizzie. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. How are you, Leonard? Not bad, uh, taking into account the circumstances, but yeah, you know, uh, we survive, do we? Yeah. Um, I was telling everybody what an amazing uh, person you are. Uh, very, very generous and special in normal times, but uh, uh, in those days, you exceed uh, my expectation. Did you exceed yours? Um, not yet. I no, not yet. But it's hard. It's different. <laughs> Um, I know that uh, uh, you had a lot of ideas and you get involved in a lot of uh, things that you are trying to do for the community where you live. Tell me some, something yeah. more about you. Um, well, about three, four weeks ago, I dropped around to see a lot of my elderly neighbours. Not you, but I did go to <laughs> other elderly neighbours. And uh, I offered to get their shopping for them because I'm aware that I'm fit and healthy to do that. and. All of them rejected it, to be honest, at the time. Really? Yeah, they all had friends and people who would help them. But then, um, you know, on Thursday, which is the day I told them I would shop, you know, this Thursday, I got up and there was envelopes and money in the and shopping lists uh, in the post box. So I, I went and did their shopping and dropped it off. And actually, the local supermarket were really helpful. And the other thing I'm doing is there's another village where they have a lot of elderly people mm -hmm. and friends of mine and working with friends of mine and they're getting food delivered to them and I'm collecting food for them and dropping it to my friends and then my friends are distributing it so that the well, village can stay How safe. do you manage your time because I know how busy you are with your work and we'll talk about that in a second but you still have time to help the others. Um, I have a timetable uh -huh. and so although I'm still at home I am at home and you're right, I am working from home. I'm a key worker, but working from home. Um, I structure my day like a normal day as if I was leaving the house. So I have allocated time for, for work, allocated time for exercise, allocated time for social, but then you know, also now my Thursdays are dedicated to what I can do for the community. But, okay, so you have time for your work, you have time for uh, the community, for a friend, but you have time for Lizzie, for you. Yeah, I mean, I have uh, my Sundays. Okay. <laughs> are a hundred percent Lizzie, okay. and uh, I might do some things that I'm meant to be doing around the house that I've been saying I'm going to do for five years. I have no excuse now. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that you deserve the title of queen of socializing you discover and you told me already a couple of applications where you can uh, organize your own groups you can have your house party gossip house party tell me something about this oh house party is uh they were so lucky to be honest with their timing um it's it's like the old-fashioned chat rooms i want to say you know where you can join other people well, this is more, it's like a, it's a video call like we're doing now. Um, you have the option to lock the room or leave it unlocked. And what I recommend is people try to leave it unlocked for a little bit. You can add your own friends, um, but you also get to see their friends. Mm -hmm. But say, for example, I could set up a group with you now and we could leave the room unlocked and people you know could just come and join in and people I know could join in. And then people that know those people could join in and we could end up with eight complete strangers in the same room <laughs> laughing and talking the other thing is um the i don't know if there's a netflix house party i don't it's not called house party but it's something like that where people can sign up to watch a film at the same time now i ah, and comment about that uh, that's yeah 
like in the old old days now we call them sitting on the sofa and making our own comments oh that that's that's a cool do idea do you think that is the risk that now even people that we consider ourselves oh i'm i'm perfectly fine from the mental health point of view to start to be confronted with certain type of challenges and problems a hundred percent. I think this is going to face, people are going to face challenges that they never anticipated. Um, I mean, even if you just go down to the very basics of two people who live together, their relationship may have been maintained by their ability to be away from each other. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they are, <laughs> they are forced <laughs> to be together not just for an hour or two hours, for 24 seven, and they can't bring in another distraction. Uh -huh. um, anxiety, the world, it, this is a fear. This is a fear filled area now. And we, we can't see the disease. I don't know, it's not a disease, it's a virus, but we can't see it. And we're all at risk, it's indiscriminate. And that anxiety will be building and actually a problem, a big problem with that is that anxiety can create symptoms very similar to what people are looking out for. What can you do about it? The, the best thing I can give anybody who has any kind of anxiety is five, four, three, two, one. The problem with anxiety is that we're in our head. Mm -hmm. This is where it's being created. And so we need to come out of that to be away from the anxiety. If you, this is the quickest one to do, you look around the room where you are and you identify five things and you say them out loud. Mm -hmm. You then um, look for four things that you can touch. You touch them and you say them out loud when you do it. Three things that you can hear. So three different sounds and you say the sounds out loud again when you do it, when you yeah. Two things that you can smell mm -hmm. and one thing that you can taste. And when you're doing that, you're focusing on your actual senses. They've got, these things are genuine, they're real. They're things that we can't make up. And most people, a couple of times that will calm them down. Um, if not, there's also an awful lot. We're back to being online, but mindfulness, guided meditation is everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it is wonderful just to calm the mind down um there's a wonderful website called get self help and they have an awful lot of tools on there available for anybody who can work through the modules mm -hmm. um for anxiety and worry for people who can't access it but are in different countries um there's another website called cci and that's in australia and again they they have an awful lot of resources on there for people to use and access themselves it's self-guided work and it, it's amazing i can't recommend it enough what you did this day since you didn't left home a part of the duties that you have uh that was the first time when you did you never thought that you would do this in your entire life and you did it just to fill yeah. up your time just i don't know yeah Did um i have been ex exercising at home definitely um, I'm not going to lie, masturbating. Oh. Everybody, everybody's doing it. <laughs> and I recommend it. It's great for anxiety. It's great for worry. Uh, you know? I, know. <laughs> I love that. I love your honesty. <laughs> it's, but it's, it's a huge thing and people don't talk about it. It's not being spoke about in the news. It's, you know, <laughs> But as therapists, we are going to touch on it, you know. It's the BBC having a, se a segment on the news at 10 o'clock talking about that, not. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> moving on, moving on. <laughs> Imagine yeah. that you are in the room with Lizzie when she was five, six, uh, yeah. and you have 30, 40 seconds to, uh, talk, to tell her something. I don't know, an advice, a warning, a suggestion whatever you want, but not longer than 30, 40 seconds. What Lizzie from today will tell Lizzie from uh, years ago? Be brave and don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Because those, this is important, I think. Um, little me was very scared of, of a lot of things and I'm not anymore, so she needs that. <laughs> and about mistakes? 
Mm. No, I don't think life is full of mistakes. I think, I think everything that happens is the best thing for us at that moment in time. We can maybe look back with regret, but everything we do is a choice. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lizzie. Uh, good luck with all the uh, busy schedule that you have. And uh, now, to be honest, I hope that you, time to time in this, uh, well, just put in your daily planner, uh, Leonard needs me, <laughs> five minutes at least a day. Okay, I'll put that in there. As long as you promise to show me the chippy at that point. I will, and I, uh, I will respect the social distancing. We can talk with each other over the fence. Yes, okay. Thank Take you. care. Happy Thank quarantine. You. See you later. Thank you. Bye.